Having a stable platform for your rifle at the range really helps with accuracy, especially if you're shooting from a bench. Uh, I've seen so many guys just trying to shoot off a piece of wood or the bench itself, and uh, it can really beat up your rifle and uh, mess up the wood. Uh, one of the things I like to use are just sandbags. These are, this one's a suede sandbag. I've had this one for years, uh, just filled with sand. This is another rest, also filled with sand. Uh, they are heavy, and that can be a bonus in some ways, but when you're lugging things back and forth to the range, it can be a real big pain in the butt. But today we're gonna to take a look at the shooting sock. And I learned this from a good friend of mine, Rob, over at AK Operators Union 4774. I'll have the link down below in the description. And if you're into AKs, you've probably already been to his channel. Just a great guy. Uh, but this is something that he did recently. He uses these a lot, super lightweight, easy to make, and I think you're gonna like it. So we're just gonna go through how to do it. Now all you need is a good pair of socks. Really the best is something really long. And one of the things uh, that Rob used is one of the old military, pair of old military socks, the green ones, how they're so long. Um, I got these at Cabela's. It was a pack of three. These were work socks. They were $12.99. Uh, so, you know, about 13 bucks for a three pair. Also had to buy some airsoft pellets and those seem to work really great. One of the great things about airsoft pellets, number one, they're lightweight. Uh, but number two, they're, they're, uh, impervious to weather uh, you know whether wet conditions whatever you're doing uh, mud they don't you know they just hold up very well unless you get the biodegradable type which i would steer clear from those these are just the cheapest ones i could find because it doesn't really matter uh, they were 8.99 for this size uh, and this actually does one sock just like this so uh, this is to me plenty big enough for what i need weight's also a big deal with something like this this is pretty heavy in my range bag we're getting this at 3 and 13 ounces. 3 pounds, 13 ounces, just under 4 pounds. So that adds a lot to your bag. I actually purchased this one because it would be less bulk and it would be lighter in weight. This is coming in at 2 pounds, almost 6 ounces. And then we have the shooting sock. 1 pound, 1.8 ounces. So this is considerably, and less, less than half of this, and then almost a fourth of this. So this is gonna give you a lot more capability. Uh, and really, even though this, the shape of this is really nice, uh, this will conform to whatever you, know, you're, you wanna put your stock on. And I think it's gonna be great. So you're just gonna need one sock. We're gonna go ahead and open up our pellets. Now we're gonna use this whole uh, jar of pellets or whole container of pellets. Wrap the sock mouth around the end like this and then just turn it over. Shake it good, let them flow down in there. Get all those pellets down, and we're gonna compact them together down here at the end. Pushing them. Uh, if you're not careful, you can get it really in a funky shape, but you want it to have some stability once, you, uh, once we tie the knot. We're gonna tie a knot right here, so I'm going to go ahead and get these down, make sure they're compressed. Now what we're going to do is start spinning the sock a little bit, and then we're just going to tie it. Tie it to a good, strong, sturdy knot like that. Then take the remainder of the sock and just roll it right back over your pellets. and you're done. You've got your shooting sock, you're ready to go to the range. And again, it weighs just over a pound, which makes it nice. Uh, one of the things that I saw Rob do, and he talks a lot about, when shooting the AK-47, he sits his magazine right here. Instead of putting it on the ground, it uh, helps, especially if wet conditions, it can sink into the ground. So this helps, and it kind of distributes the weight out a little bit, which really makes it nice. Again, on the shooting bench, this is great. Uh, if you're putting it on different type um, obstacles or you know where there is a wood barrier or whatever this will also help to be able to stabilize uh, your barrel and again which will achieve better accuracy last thing you want to do is put a rifle down on a block like this I mean this is going to scratch things up bringing in your shooting sock not only does it comfort and it gives you some padding but it also allows you to kind of adjust and get that sweet spot to be able to take that shot 
and again, they're lightweight, they're easy to carry. This cost me $12.15 plus tax. If you've already got the sock, you can take a couple of dollars off. If you already have the airsoft pellets, that's an even better bonus. And when you're done with the container, make it into a little survival kit. Again, I want to thank Rob at AK Operators Union 4774. Great channel, especially if you're into AKs. The shooting sock, big thumbs up. Okay, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. total cost for one survival the total cost for one shooting sock is this cost me but today we're going to take a look at the shooting sock and this is from a good friend of mine Rob at AK so I want to thank Rob for the idea so I want to thank Rob over at AK so I want to thank Rob over at AK Operators Union uh, and if my feet are cold or get wet got an extra pair of socks because it would be more lightweight.